fans and viewers welcome to the Malik show on tonight I apologize for the uh, coming in of the show we had just a little bit of technical difficulties but we are back uh, welcome to another night I'm your host Malik Shabazz Sullivan how you doing tonight fans and viewers I have a special guest that is with us live um, I'm gonna give you a little history on her uh, me and her went to Duval High School together good friends she is one of the craziest people that I know uh, in Maryland, or shall I say the society today, but tonight is her first night, uh, first time being on the Malik Show, so let's welcome her. I give you Imani, and she's going to have to pronounce her last name for you. Imani, welcome to the show. Is, there, is everything all right over there? Can you hear us? I told you she was crazy, fans. I'm just playing. But Imani, welcome to the show tonight. I really appreciate you saying yes and being on tonight. And um, I'm glad to have you. Anytime, anytime. All right. yeah. Well, fans and viewers. Oh yeah. Fans and viewers, tonight on the show we have a lot of stuff going on tonight. First, uh, we are talking for hot topics. We are talking about Lawrence Fishburne and his uh, daughter. I think we all know about the the story on that, but I have some more on that because she should be, she will be facing some legal trouble. Uh, the School of Rock is the Malik Show's entertainment tonight, and also fans and viewers tonight, a new hot top, a new topic for the show: mother abandonment for children. And me and Imani are going to talk a little bit about that on tonight. So we want you all to tune in and listen to, you know, what we have to say on that. So at this time, we are going to move to one of my favorite parts of the show: the question of the day where I ask you fans and viewers and Imani since you are our special guest on tonight uh, questions fans and viewers you can look the question up on Facebook uh, under the Malik show look it up if you are a fan then give us your answer or you can post it on my page Malik Dior Shabazz Sullivan the question of the day states what Latino sitcom character hated that his mother-in-law always called him Mickey. Imani, uh, can you please give us the answer for that? And fans and viewers, if you're on Facebook, please post it at Hold this on. time. Okay, how about, can you answer that question one more time? The question for, of the day is, what Latino sitcom character hated that his mother-in-law always calls him Mickey? Hmm. Well, it's not a Latino sitcom. Everybody used to watch this show. Uh, the guy is Latino, and if we all know, I'm going to give you a, a clue, fans. And like I said, if you're on Facebook, post it. Uh, he is Latino, and he married a white woman, redhead. This show used to be back in the 50s and or 60s. And everybody, I love blank. The wife was funny. She's crazy funny. Everybody should know this, but the guy, uh, first name is Ricky. 
And his name is what? I'm not exactly sure. Hmm, that's a good one. Well, fans and viewers, I'm going to go ahead and give you the answer, but you can still post it. The answer is Ricky Ricardo. Lucy. Lucy. I love Lucy. I love Lucy. Yep, that is it. So that was the question of the day for today. Now, fans and viewers, we're moving on right this time to Hot Topics right here on The Malik Show. And Imani, brace yourself for this topic. Fans and viewers, tonight on Hot Topics, we have a situation right now. Not a big situation, but it could be big next week. Um, I want to give a shout out to Tara Bynum. Uh, she gave the answer. Shout out to you and much love and long time. Look forward to hearing from you. Um, back to the topic now. Um, fans and viewers. Uh, Lawrence Fishburne is in some type of a mess right now with his daughter. As we all know that she is uh, doing pornography, you know, as far as making sex videos and showing her tits and all that kind of stuff. Excuse my French if any young ones is listening. But I have some info on that, and then I'm going to get Imani's opinion on this uh, topic. Montana Fishburne is her name, may be guilty of some questionable career choices when it comes to crime she way she swears that she's innocent lawrence fishburne which is her father porn aspiring offspring pleaded not guilty today in two new charges one she says that she was in a situation with her boyfriend's ex with was with a deadly weapon and trespassing on lawrence fishburne's property Montana was MIA for the hearing instead of her attorney, which is Sean Chapman Holly, who earlier this morning and Beverly Hills represented Lindsay Lohan, hint, hint, entered in the Los Angeles courtroom after the city's attorney's office filed an amendment complaint. Montana has pleaded not guilty in these charges and also... Last February, which is when 2010, she was in an assembly assault and battery prison, which she could have got the up to 10 years in jail. Um, here is the best thing of this, and then we're going to move to what Imani has to say. It says that the 18-year-old allegedly broke into the home of the victim, who identified, I'm trying to read this correctly, she has been forced to be in porn videos and she has signed uh, paperwork and it's documented if you go to tmz.com you can see the um, document that she signed with uh, Playboy and she also signed with different private companies I'm not going to announce that on there tonight but the last part of this is in separate case Montana previously pleaded no contest in Hollywood's courtroom to criminal trespass and misdemeanor. She swears that she wants to drop the charges of soliciting and laudering in public area for the purpose of prostitution. That steamed from a bus back in November. The next hearing in this assault case will be scheduled for September 28, 2010. Now, to our special guest, Imani, tonight. Imani, what do you have to say on tonight's hot topic with Lawrence Fishburne and his daughter Montana? Well, Lawrence Fishburne, great, great man. Been playing in great movies, seen all around the world. His daughter doing porn first. I guess my question is, why? Well, you know, it's all seen all over the world. And seen in movies, seen in everything. Why come with such a hard, a hard thing to be focused on? Mm -hmm. One is that, and then for her charges, her and her boyfriend, you know, supposedly with air quotes, of course, are guilty of what is it? Solicitation, loitering, fire, deadly firearms, stuff 
like that. It's a lot for a person to handle. But again, I guess my question is, why? Mm-hmm. Why do something so great, you know, that you can be caught up? Mm-hmm. And you know who your father is. You know ain't no privacy getting ready to happen. Why? Why? Why something so serious? Shoot, I just don't understand, um, you know, people. I guess she thinks that my father is big time. He got money. And if I get in, you know. And you know what? I think she's a copycat of Lindsay Lohan a little bit. Um, I can't say that she's a copycat of Lindsay yeah, Lohan. She's a copycat. Lindsay, I can't say that. It's because they, they truly have been caught for two different things. You know, Lindsay Lohan was, was based on DUIs. She, she can't drive. And she can't drink and drive without being caught. Lawrence Fishburne's daughter just had to take it up a notch. She had to get, she had to be caught on a pornography scandal. Mm-hmm. We can't really bunch them two together. You can now, mind you, they are being represented by the same person, so she will get off light, if anything. But to, to categorize them doesn't make sense. Mm-hmm. Well, um, Imani, what do you have to say to close out? I mean, what is your thoughts and stuff as we close out of this hot topic? I have to say that, um, to close it out, that uh, Lawrence Fishburne is one of America's great actors, and he will always be and always will be a great actor. But his daughter, on the other hand, has given him problems and grief. And, you know, as a parent, parents need to put their foot down when it comes to their children. I think that's what's wrong with the world today. As young children growing up and as teenagers and, you know, whatever, parents need to put their foot down if their child is out of control. So that's what I have to say to close out of this topic. I don't think you can put your foot down technically on a grown person. You can't do it. Grown person is going to think exactly what they think at all times. They're going to think, I'm going to do what I'm going to do. But say that he needs to put his foot down, it's a little too late. He should have put his foot down a long time ago. I guess my closing remark is, if you're going to do something wrong like this, you got to think about what you do before you actually start to do it. It makes no sense to actually go so far. Huh? You're right. Okay, so to close out, um, we said we had to say we pray and best of luck to Lawrence and his daughter, Montana. Fans and viewers, we're going to take a short break. When we come back, we're going to talk about uh, the topic of the hour, Mother's abandonment with their children i also have received a private email i'm not going to talk about um one of the malik show's fans and dedicated to this show but they have suggested it because they have lived the lifestyle and i'm going to talk about that after the break so please stay with us and here is one of my favorite movies and favorite band the school of rock
and other considerations for the Malik show is provided by welcome back to the Malik show that was a school of rock um, teachers pet I think that's the name of the song but we're back with Imani um, fans and viewers uh, tonight on the Malik show um, we are talking about a topic that was brought up to my attention on last Tuesday night when I received this email and it got to me so, fans, I want you to just listen on both sides. Tonight, I have received an email to the Malik Show. Um, I checked it on last Tuesday night around 9.30, and I'm going to leave this person's name uh, private and confidential, and I'm just going to share what she shared with me. And tonight, uh, we hope that she's watching, so or she'll be watching the show recorded later. Um, it says, Dear Malik, I prefer to remain anonymous, so please, um, as I send this to you, don't, you know, put my name out. Um, I am 17 years old, and I'm from the state of Missouri. Iman, are you still with us? You know it. Oh, Okay. Okay, so the letter states, um, I printed it out, but it says, Dear Malik, I read you the first part. She has, she's a she, it's a female, 17 years old from Missouri. She has stated that I have a show suggestion for your show. I would like for you to talk about mothers and how they abandon their children. Just so you know, me and my mother have not always gotten along. My mother was a crack addict. And she was also a taker for money. I have been in foster care for the past three years. My biological mother has got locked up last year for stealing out of a store. So I need some help and advice, Malik, on what to do. I hope that you'll be having this on your show soon. Thanks again. Now, um... Imani, I have gotten this last Tuesday, and this uh, 17-year-old girl, as you just heard, is having problems. Her mother has abandoned her. Her mother was a crack addict, and right now she serves in foster care. So what do you have to say? First of all, Imani, what do you have to say about mothers abandoning their children? Even though we have fathers that does the same thing, but once I read this... Once I read this, I was so, so hard, sadly hard for this young person. So do you have any comments or opinions on tonight regarding? First of all, I, first of all, I truly am sad. My heart does go out to this young woman. I truly am sad for her. And I just want to say that I love you. I love you so much. And I want to say that I can't judge her mother because I don't know what her mother is going through. I don't know what's going on with her mother's head. I can't judge her mother. But I would, let, I would love to let her know that she is very strong. She is very, very strong for this. Because she's still making it, even though she's going through a very hard time right now. Mm -hmm. Okay. Well, um, fans and viewers, tonight's show is, is about mother abandonment issues. And I'm going to just... Um, Put a few words, like I said, we're almost at the end of the show tonight, but um, we do have lots of mothers in the United States, all over the world, that, um, you know, are, you know, mothers. We have some good mothers out there, and we have some bad mothers out there. We have bad mothers who are drug addicts. We have mothers that are prostitutes. We have mothers that would take anything for money, or whatever. Whatever the case is, we have mothers that are like that. And we also have daughters out there that, you know, grow up, try to be like their mother, do it, follow into their mother's footsteps, and it always comes down on them hard, 
and it comes down on them, sometimes good, sometimes bad. But after I read this last Tuesday night, I was I was thinking in my mind, I have to have a show about this. I have to have a special guest that knows about this. And tonight is the night. Tonight, uh, Imani said what she had to say, and I said what I had to say. Um, last thing I want to say before we see the preview for tomorrow night's show is um, we have daughters today, teens, 75% of teen girls that are out of control when it comes, you know, we have teens that are just like their mothers in ways, uh, whether their mother is a whore or a hoe, pros, whatever the case may be, we have daughters that follow into their mother's footsteps. So, Imani, I just wanted to share that with you on tonight, and um, hopefully uh, this 17-year-old girl um, is recovering. She's you know, hopefully she's watching this tonight or she will be watching it in the near future because this show, all the shows be saved on Ustream TV for the Malik show. But um, that's all I have to say to Imani. Do you have anything to say before we see the preview for tomorrow's show? Um, what I have to say is, again, I'm truly happy that she is making it truly happy that even though she's had a very hard time right now, she feels like she can come out and ask. Even though she put even though she can't say her name, you know. She can't say what she can't say her name because she doesn't feel ready yet. I'm truly happy that she felt the need to ask the opinion on the matter. I'm truly happy at that because most people don't even have the strength to do that. So I do congratulate her on that. I also would like to say that in her rough time, if she needs to talk, she should just find somebody truly, even if it's just you, Malik, if she goes to a counselor, if she should find somebody to talk to that way. She can get her feelings out of play so she won't keep them bothered in and then doing something that she may regret later. Mm -hmm. You're right. You're totally right. Well, fans and viewers, uh, right now we're going to see the preview for tomorrow's show, and then we come back, Imani is going to have her final remarks and our shout outs, and then I'll be the end of our show. Tune in for the Malik Show on tomorrow night. Um, we have uh, special guest uh, Ash Pinnell, known as Joker. And uh, we also have a new artist on the Malik Show called H-Tips. I don't know too much, but we will find out tomorrow. The Cake Boss, as we all watch him on TV, is in some big trouble. So that will be tomorrow night's Hot Topic. And Jimmy Cliff, reggae's um, legendary, will be the Malik Show's entertainment. Um, Imani is going to close us out on tonight. Um, Imani, right now, I'll give you this time to make your final remarks saying your shout outs at this time. Well, I don't have so many remarks. I'm just glad that you invited me to the show. I truly am. And uh, I do, I'm sorry, I do want to have a few shout outs. I'm going to shout out my two favorite people in the entire world. Antoine and John, I love you dearly. And I want to tell everybody to have a very safe and peaceful night. Thank you. Imani, I thank you for being on the show tonight. And um, hopefully soon we'll have you back as a guest again. And 
And um, I will be keeping in touch. May God bless you and your family. And we hope to have you back soon. Same here, my baby. Peace. Take care. Take care. Thank you, Imani, for being on the show tonight. I really appreciate it. Fans and viewers, I thank you for watching tonight. Tune back tomorrow night. Same time, same place. As I always say, be true, be you. God bless you.